you smashed it. Last episode, 3,000 likes. We go again, viewers. Run the intro. Wait, hold on. What on earth? Is, you've been here as long as I have. Dang, you may well have supported them, but I'll be doing the intros for now. Run the actual intro. Goodness me. I tell you what, those two. Nightmare viewers. gang welcome back to magpies millions and well i've spent the millions viewers that i've spent the millions some of these transfers oh my goodness of course the database is available uh, it's the link in the description again shout out to steve the fm editor lots of you are getting involved and sending me screenshots of things that you're trying whether it be on my discord server or on twitter so uh yeah feel free to get involved and let me know how you get on and uh, who you signed how does it change or differ from mine so let's start with the outs then of course newcastle united there's a, and i say this i say this as politely as possible there's a lot of Deadwood. No, no, not Jedwood. Not Jedwood. Deadwood. Let's quick fire this. Uh, if you've got an, if you've got an affection for these players, Newcastle fans, I apologise now. Federico Fernandez has gone to Everton for eight point five million. Henry Savier has gone uh, as well, th three million. Victor Fernandez is a loan move to Stevenage. I mean, that's not really that's not one that matters really. Christian Atsu has gone off to Strasbourg for a million uh, on a, on a season long loan. I don't need him. Isaac Hayden's gone to China for ten million. Happy with that. Kieran Clark, Red Bull Salzburg. Of course, they've lost uh, Haaland, so I imagine that's that's replaced him. mutu has gone to Denmark. Sorry, mate. I mean, to be fair though, four point four million. We'll take it. Dwight Gale's gone to Genk. Um, I've 7.5. I know. I, I'm surprised. And then finally, for 1.3 million, Jack Colback has joined Cardiff. So, the outs, viewers. There you are. Beautiful. Well done, me. I mean, I've, we've done well there, to be honest. If, let's be let's be real. So that's forty-four million pounds extra brought in uh, from the sales. Of course, Ozzy Perez left, as did Hosselu. Uh, so they've gone, and now we've we've added to that total, and we've spent now a total. If you take in the likes of Joel Linton, of course, uh, Sam Maxim came in, uh, Kraft came in too. We've spent two hundred and thirty-one million. Oh yes. Four players and to kick things off from Borussia Dortmund, 90 grand a week. It's Thomas Delaney. Now, Newcastle central midfield is quite interesting. The long staffs, of course, you've got the likes of John Joe Shelby, amongst others. But Thomas Delaney offers me something none of those players do. Real quality. And I mean real quality right now. The long staffs, you look, they could develop fantastically and we'll, of course, use them throughout the season. But Thomas Delaney is a really standout player for me. £27 million. He's had a decent season at Dortmund and now he's mine. Welcome to Newcastle. Next up, and I teased this one last time and I knew if I could, I would get him. Ruben Diaz, the 22-year-old Portuguese international, has been brought in. Again, a big fee on this one, 52 million. It's his release from Benfica, but to have a player as such as this, I think is quite good. Uh, he already hates me. Um, good news, yeah. Yeah, good news. He, he wanted me to bring a friend, a Portuguese friend. I didn't. I forgot and didn't bring one, and now he's furious. Wants to leave. Doesn't think the relationship can be rekindled. It's all gone wrong, viewers. But he'll be playing every game, and he'll be fine. So, welcome, Ruben Diaz. He's fantastic. Next up, Andre Onana. Of course, you know him the Ajax goalkeeper fantastic uh, attributes for a goalkeeper which is handy because he'll be playing there for most of the games uh, 36.5 million it's a lot but then Ajax were pretty good last year remember and as a result he's in much improved on games from previous years fantastic reflexes kicking ability aerial reach great composure basically really good this will cause problems I know people like Dubravka but um, he's not as good as Anana. so you make the choice do you want a goalkeeper who's not as good that you like or a good goalkeeper that's well, he's a good goalkeeper. I mean, you choose, viewers. It's not up to me, is it? It's up to you. And then finally, this one. This one's stupid, viewers. This one shouldn't be allowed. Now, considering the reputation of Newcastle United, how we've signed Lataro Martinez, even I'm not sure, viewers. 30 million up front, 30 million over, over a period of time, and uh, welcome to Newcastle. Look at my little face. Look at my little face. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's genuinely brilliant. 21. It, it's not really fair, viewers. So 60 million total, Inter bought him for 22 million. He had a quiet year, but you've seen in real life in the season gone by, he is a talent. And the fact he now plays for us and the Geordie Nation, I can't wait. Why, yay, we've signed like the channel much. Oh, don't, don't. That's worse than yesterday's. How could it be getting worse? And why does it always start with why, yay? They've got other words up there. The time after then, viewers. Come on, the time. Oh, I'll say no more. You've seen it now. So that's right then. 231 million spent. I spent a lot of money, it's fair to say. Uh, and the balance then, of course, it was 300 million. Not anymore. It's now 200 million. There's still some money left over in case in January we need to fix things and maybe actually buy an attacking midfielder that's not Jack Wilshire because he was sort of the only option. So team wise, you've already seen it. Yeah. All right. Sure. Joel Linton's furious. Yeah, of course he is. Now, the problem Joel Linton's got is that I saw him play actual football in the season that we're sort of in the middle of. And as a result of that, Joel. 
Uh, it's not his first name. He's not called Joel Linton. Linton Cards. He doesn't run that. Clint- I know it's Clinton Cards. Don't worry, I know. Um, I, 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 but, I mean, I'm looking at his attributes. No. And look, he can play target man support. So if it just so happens not to work out with Andy Carroll, then that's going to be a show. Where's Danny Graham? Not this series. If it doesn't work out with Andy Carroll, then it doesn't work out with Andy Carroll. But with that heading and jumping reach, knocking balls down for Lotaro Martinez, this could be a beautiful thing, viewers. Almir on one side, Maxim the other, Delaney Shelby in the centre. That midfield might have to change a little bit as we go on. Uh, Danny Rose, Ruben Diaz, Jamal Lascelles, uh, Valentino Lazaro, who again, I've, I've had in the football manager this year, a, a star of mine, and Onano in goal. Newcastle fans. Come on. I feel like I've done them so proud. I feel like I'm going to be giving the key to Newcastle viewers. And look, those introductions have been short and sweet. You know, I've enjoyed that. We now play Burnley away at Turf Moor. A true test of just how good your Premier League team is. Of course, we're trying to beat 13th. That's what Steve Bruce got. I merely didn't have Lataro Martinez up front. But 13th viewers. All right, maybe not 13th. We're already there. Too. We're doing it already. We're already 13th. We've already beaten that. The only way is up, viewers. Newcastle then predicted to finish 10th. So that is probably what we'll aim for. 10th position. Are we better than 10 sides in the division? I'd like to think so. I think Wolves, Everton, Leicester are probably pretty close to now. Far closer to them now than we were at the start of the season. And I feel like we've got every chance. And I've got to say, looking at the squad, I'm pretty happy. I have registered four goalkeepers. So make of that what you will. One of them not even in the squad here. Shout out to Rob Elliott, who is also registered registered for the uh, for the Premier League this season. That's a shambles. And of course, the likes of Paul Dummett and Yedlin coming back to fitness. Lejeune's there as well as Shah, who's a decent defender. We've got a little bit of depth in defence, so I'm quite happy there. And of course, at left-back, Danny Rose and Jethro Williams can sort of share that role as well. No European football, but we've got a squad fit for it. Our only situation problematic to us is that our wingers, but we've basically got two wingers. So if they get injured, viewers, I don't know, I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Uh, yeah. Is there any youngsters coming through? Through. Any good wingers coming through, viewers? Um, no. No. Rolando Aarons is there, but come on. And Christian Atsu's been let go, so uh, whoa, sure, let's just say they don't get injured. Why, why is your mouth not really moving, Ben? Just because I want to move on quickly, please. But the 11 viewers, right? Come on, the 11. Come on. John Joe Shelby has any sort of ill discipline this season, there's going to be hell to pay. All right, then, let's get into this game. Burnley, Turf Moor. This is where dreams are made. Uh, I have inquired a little bit. Martinus needs a number. We'll give him 14. Go on. Uh, I've inquired to the board about maybe getting the facilities to be slightly better. Of course, with the money that we've got, that's something I definitely want to do and bring some players in through the youth. Um, no, they said. So we're already on good terms. Me and Not Mike Ashley, we're loving it. Also, thank you for being understanding about the idea of calling him Not Mike Ashley. I think that's worked well. Not Mike Ashley's going to be a star of this series, I can tell already, viewers. And Anton Deck, well, we'll see how they go. To me, to you. God, I used to love Anton Deck. Hang on. All right, go out there. Give the fans their money worth. Our first game, viewers. First game. This is big. This is big to. This is big for morale. All the Newcastle fans in Newcastle will be gathered around, aren't they? Watching it together or social isolating, depending on the situation. All right. The, uh, Mark Wright's turned up. He says you're out to take charge of your first game as Newcastle manager. Can you sum up your feelings? I am bricking it, Mark. To be honest, they're they're a passionate bunch. Um, given Anana's lack of match fitness, how long can he last out there as goalkeeper? I think he'll be all right, mate. You've left out Bentaleb. Yes. Um. That's. I've bought Thomas Delaney. And Ben Taleb's probably better, but he's on loan, so he's not even here next year, so let's, let's not worry about it. It's nice to have options, viewers. If Thomas Delaney doesn't work out, that is a massive waste of money. All right, then, the boys are walking out, and this is a treat for you, viewers. This Newcastle episode, say episode series will have three dimensions. Here they are, look. Oh, Lataro, what a touch first. Andy Carroll's massive. Now, Andy Carroll's running isn't great, but his hold-up play, as you can see here, viewers, is something of a sensation. This is great so far. As uh, early stages, Lataro Martin, let's look at us, keep the ball. That is a... Yep, giving it away there. We've uh, Shelby's put it out straight away, and look, it's, it's tough. Sean Dyche has got these Burnley. Bo is that is that is that offside, viewers? Can we check that VAR? We've gone to VAR, and ah, sorry, Jay Rodriguez. I don't think so, fella. We're so booking for that, maybe. They've got a free kick here, viewers. As the ball's played in, he's now scored a little. Now, uh, 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 that second, he's off. Jay Rodriguez, mate, you're off twice there, fella. Off you go, son. Off you go. Come on. All right, that is worrying. Uh, I thought I'd got a tactic here that was pretty perfect they've scored two goals none have counted that's quite quick for that to happen i'll demand more viewers because what i've seen so far is we've, we're quite we're quite sleepy it's a corner lotaro lotaro lazaro we've got a lotaro oh almir on i mean this angle's horrendous viewers i agree get it on tv slam it down to the bottom zoom into the max there we go we're back oh so far viewers absolute carnage at either end mainly because of my lack of understanding of how the 3d works but here we are lazaro to john joe shelby who has been tackled immediately and now he's running look at him go look at the pace of john joe <laughs> 
he's trying so hard. Hendrick racing forward. I mean, he's, he, we've let him do a lot there, and they've shot wide. Of course, these boys are going to have to get to know each other. Again, we're coming to, it's a difficult first game. Let's face it. Burnley away is difficult. Right, guys? Everyone? Andy Carroll's picked up a knock. Looks like a bruised ankle. 15 minutes, viewers. 15 piggy minutes. I didn't even bring Danny Graham in as the obvious replacement. So Joel Linton's going to have to play. Brilliant. We'll see how long Andy can go. It's just bruised. So he's it's still a bruised ankle, viewers. Update, still bruised ankle. I'm going to go slightly more positive. I'm going to try and play on the front foot. We've got those two wingers in Maxim and Almiron. They're, they're everything to me. They are everything. Not in life. I do mean I do mean in this save, obviously. That would be I'm putting a lot on their shoulders there. Andy Carroll's just getting, he's just diminishing, viewers, by the second. We'll see if we can get to half time with this bruised ankle. He might have suffered a bruised ankle, but it's the sort of thing he should be able to play through. Couldn't agree more. As uh, the ball forward by Danny Rose is good. And Andy Carroll, look at the pace of him. Closing down there as uh, he goes towards Tarkovsky, who acts like Andy's not really there for honest viewers. And now uh, Woods with the ball in towards the back post. McNeil, as Onana lets that go over comfortably. He didn't dive dramatically, viewers. You, you saw that wrong there. I need to learn I need to learn more Geordie slang. If anyone can get on that, maybe, that would be very handy. Right, time's ticking away here. This first game so far, I'll be honest... Has been a spectacle. And by that, I mean, you'll wish you didn't have your spectacles because it's been bloody dull. All right, maybe Andy Carroll is... He, maybe he's not having a, a great impact so far. Uh, aggressively, though, far from pleased. It's the first game. We're a good side. Joe Linton's going to replace Andy with a chance to impress viewers, let's face it. Marcellus is going to be changed up to an advanced forward and we'll just see if those two can combine to make something magical happen. I'm going to make Shelby a little bit more defensive, maybe, and Max in a little bit more attacking. So, you know, give with one hand, take with another. Or the other way around. All right, here we go. Second half. Half is underway and uh, the boys are back in town viewers they never left they never left the town they hang out in town a lot they're always lurking around it's, it's you know they're, they should get an asbo is that still a thing viewers they've got a free, a, a, a free corner viewers as i'm going to call it they flick it just wide no nothing i, I don't know I, I thought i was going to say something then viewers and then nothing nothing came out i don't even think i was thinking i don't know what was going on my mouth remained open for most of it so something clearly wanted to come out burnley forward again i mean they've not had a shot on target yet viewers um and lazaro there has well this that's oh they've hit the post does that count as on target no because it wasn't on target almira on safety first has uh, has lashed that away i want us to play a little bit quicker slightly slightly a lot more direct in fact I mean, andy carroll playing short passing ben you've not thought this through it's almost like the tactic sort of came as a result of not having an attacking midfielder that could play that regularly we could play matt ritchie on the left and play on on in behind of course that is an option for us and with half an hour to go it's, it's quite difficult to make that change right now we could play joel linton in the hole behind martez that could be genius viewers attacking midfielder on attack come on let's give that a whirl so look if this ends up if, if this ends up working viewers this is going to be marvelous i tell you what if you weren't excited about this series before viewers i'll tell you now if you weren't excited you are now aren't you you are excited now because look at what you're seeing here ruben diaz delaney martinez what a spine 20 minutes to go nil nil at turf more by the way what is going on what is going on right matt ritchie's coming on um <laughs> i can't do this in, not in the first game ben can i all right matt ritchie's oh god that's that's appalling for me there advanced playmaker from almiron we know he's got that ability we know he can play anywhere as um matt ritchie comes on on the left side joel linton has gone off um He's not played a ma ah, 15 minutes to go. This would add insult to injury viewers. They've scored there. The, assist the assistant's running back there. He's sort of shuttling back. It's 1-0 Burnley. Oh, God. Imagine that. Do you know how happy I was to show you that I've signed Otaro Martinez? And now we are 1-0 down to Burnley with 15 minutes to go. But let me let me show you what I'm all about as a manager. Maybe this is the first series you've ever watched. You're thinking, oh, hang on a minute. He's not even taking this seriously. Be more expressive. You know, pass into space. Counter when, when given the opportunity. We were playing control possession, weren't we, this whole time? We're not a control possession side, viewers. That much is obvious. So I know what you're thinking. Why are we playing it to begin with? Here we go. Look, this is now. This is a, this is really us. Lazaro, ball in. It's headed away. Shelby back in. Shelby again. John Joe. He's been challenged. It falls to Latari Martinez. We no we. Oh no. We've, that's our first real attempt, though, isn't it? Ten minutes to go. Attack them. Come on. I need to see more, boys. I need to see more. Eight minutes going. Nick Pope, who was actually a consideration for goalkeeper. It was really between him actually and Anana, but we went for Anana in the end, and that's going brilliantly so far. As one of the goalkeepers is keeping a clean sheet. Uh, Westwood's ball forwards. Dwight McNeil's in again and smashes it past a help. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Book him for that, please. Uh, and it's been given, it's ruled out. So that's three yellow cards they've had now. As um, this ball, he's, he's well off you, as you can see that. Oh, blimey, that is, that is embarrassing. 
He's a professional as well, viewers. He's a professional. All right, let's get Delaney off. We've got to try something. Ben Taleb comes on for Delaney as, um, I mean, he is more of a playmaker. We'll get him on as Mazala and Almiron, Richie. Let's get them all attacking a bit more. Come on. I guess they just don't know each other. This is the thing. There's a lot of new faces and they've got to the... 13th was the 10th, was it? We changed it to 10th. Final few moments here, viewers. We've gone attacking. I'll ask them to get creative with four minutes to go, but Burnley have very much shut the doors. This is their version of... Of Italian. They've got a throw in. I mean, if we can counter from this, maybe there might be one last chance in this for us as they put the ball into the back post and it's headed away. And now, St. Maxim finds Almiro. And of course, we know who's up front. It's Otero Martinez to equalise to be a legend. Oh, for sake. Obviously, that's not as I would have planned it. Um, we've got a, a, maybe that's not the last chance for us. Here we go. 30 seconds to go. And we could go down in Newcastle history here. Almiron has come out to that right-hand side now. If he can deliver the cross into the centre. Referee. Is he on a booking as well? Because, no. Right. It's free kick. The drama is immense. This is what you get with Newcastle. The entertainers, viewers. Richie. Ball in. Back post. The keeper's claimed it there like it's nothing. Burnley have had two shots on target. Two. We've had triple that. Burnley won Newcastle nil. Obviously, we can see the scoreline. Now, obviously, that's not gone as we would have wanted it to go. And I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen from that team. Believe me, Newcastle fans everywhere. Let me just put out a short statement. I'm not happy with that. And I will not stand for that. That is the last defeat we'll have this month, maybe. Who else do we play? Hang on, hang on. Let me wait a second. West Ham, Wolves, Arsenal. Oh, how do I reword that then? Viewers, that is the last defeat we will have on a Saturday. No, we play, uh, no, we play Saturdays. We play Saturdays. Hang on, where's... Where's Burn? That is the last defeat we'll have in Lancashire this month. So, that's not really... That is true, but it's not good, is it? Viewers, that brings us to the end. Uh, next episode, then, we'll play... So we'll look for some, maybe some winnable games. I'm looking there at Norwich and Aston Villa, and I'm thinking, although we could play Manchester United and Liverpool, but they will definitely beat us. Do you know what, viewers? We'll do a poll. That's right, we'll get you involved. Do you, would you like to see Norwich and Aston Villa or Manchester United and Liverpool? Vote in the top right. You get to pick. I mean, you could see us maybe win, so think about it and that will be in the next episode maybe that could be a thing for the series who knows if you enjoyed it please do drop a like on it let's aim big let's aim for 2,000 likes why not you smashed it yesterday smash it again today and i'll see you for more probably tomorrow keep an eye out for it we love with care from me the until it's time goodbye vote on the poll please i feel like i've done them so proud i feel like i'm going to be giving the key to newcastle viewers but only one newcastle nil obviously we can see the scoreline